Welcome, O56. Access file, SCP-1548. Accessing file, SCP-1548. File not found. No document present in the SCP-1548 slot. Query did find similar results. SCP-4548, SCP-1548-EX. Access file, SCP-1548-EX. Accessing file, SCP-1548-EX. File found. Displaying file. Item number, SCP-1548. Index, a hateful star. Object class, Euclid, Keter. Secure containment procedures. Space observatories capable of observing SCP-1548 are to be restricted from doing so. Images and readings taken of SCP-1548 are to be kept private and under the sole control of the Foundation. Should usage of existing observatories be necessary, they will be temporarily put under the control of the Foundation. Research into methods of neutralizing SCP-1548 are currently ongoing. Upon the completion of Lunar Area 32, projected date 1959, primary research into how SCP-1548 operates and possible methods of termination are to be relocated there. Description SCP-1548 is an unidentified object, approximately 24 light years away from Earth. The object, originally thought to be a star, is significantly brighter than any recorded so far and periodically emits bursts of ionizing radiation. Initially discovered in 1949 at the Yerkes Observatory in Chicago, Illinois, Agent M noticed that many of the pulses recorded formed a Morse code. The first transcribed read, Death for the undeserving, sick. All messages received so far have all been aggressive, involving the death, destruction, and humiliation of the human race. Readings and measurements of the object have shown it to be incredibly unstable. SCP-1548 possesses a highly erratic access, with its orientation changing at any given moment with little perceived order. This has led researchers to believe that it is rotating very quickly and randomly. From this access, two twin jets of ionized radiation are emitted in seemingly random pulses. The radiation from these streams is much more concentrated than the radiation emitted throughout the rest of SCP-1548. SCP-1548-EX communicates through Morse code using these radiation pulses. The messages SCP-1548 sends out are incredibly random. While multiple distinct messages have been recorded, these pulses account for less than 1% of the total pulses emitted by SCP-1548. No distinct pattern has been discovered for when SCP-1548 is simply pulsing at random and when it is attempting to communicate. Addendum 1. Observations by Head Researcher Natalie Upon the completion and population of Foundation Lunar Area 32, my team has performed more detailed measurements of SCP-1548. These measurements indicate that SCP-1548 poses a large and immediate threat to the planet. Due to the proximity and intensity of the bursts, should either of the streams happen to be pointed directly at us during a burst, the radiation would retain enough energy to make it past the heliosphere and subsequently devastate components of our planet's atmosphere, namely the ozone and magnetic sphere. All life on Earth, which includes us, would be completely at the mercy of any and all ionization radiation from both space and the sun. Current estimates indicate that such an event would result in a total collapse of most of Earth's ecosystems. I doubt we would fare much better. As such, I am submitting a request for more funding to better understand and hopefully eventually terminate SCP-1548. Alert, there is a text file left by 053. Would you like to access the file? Yes. Accessing materials. Displaying file one of one. To my fellow O5s, and to anyone else who may be reading this document.
Hi there, news, both good and bad. The good news is that SCP-1548 is non-anomalous. Science has caught up to us and revealed a name for these curious objects. Pulsars. It seems there are millions of these things running around the abyss. Furthermore, the messages received, the ones we thought were SCP-1548 speaking to us, were just a fluke, one of cosmic proportions. SCP-1548 is not malicious, nor even sentient. It hasn't spoken in over 20 years, and the last messages received have been barely comprehensible. The bad news is that while the star doesn't hate us, God, or whoever put that pulsar 24 light years away from us, certainly does. Researcher Natalie came to me with these concerns and made the proposal to reclassify SCP-1548 as Dash EX herself. I've made the decision to accept her proposal. With warmest regards. O53. Attention. The terminal has been idle for four minutes. The terminal will exit in one more minute. Log out. Goodbye, O56. Logging off. Shut down. Shutting down.